Talent is born, not made. When talent and hard work resembles, miracles will happen. Nelson Musoke, an artist who has nurtured his talent for eight years, has made the same come true. Having mastered the importance of group work, he partnered with friends to make dreams come to light. They built an enterprise at Max Art Gallery located in Tinda dealing in art paintings, African fabrication and t-shirt printing. So we do different, uh, different stuff. We do fabric, we do painting. Uh, fabric we do like t-shirts, we do print on t-shirts. Um, we, uh, we also do African fabric. Uh, they call it Vitenji, that's commonly known, known as Vitenji. Then uh, we also do t-shirt printing. Uh, it's mostly done by Chai April. I do decorative, I think they call it decorative art, but I, it's called abstract. <laughs> Some people call it decorative art because lately people are doing a lot of interior art and design. So, um, Ugandans are trying to embrace, although it's still very on the low, it's still on the low, but, but they're trying to embrace it because like, in like in big hotels, uh, hospitality places, there's a lot of art. So this is called abstract. Abstract art always it's 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 kind of art whereby you can use a color that's not a default. Like expect blood to be red, but you can use blue for red. You can paint uh, you can paint an art piece, and you say since the moon is, is supposed to be white, but you can put, make the moon to be green. So it's uh, that's the difference with abstract. It's not in real. It's it's not reality. It's not real realism. This is how Nelson's journey started. Like like when you're growing up, it's very hard to to relate what you can really do and what you cannot do. But then what happens when like in school? I think art is part of the subjects they really teach. So when you explore it and realize that you can, it's part of you or that it's a talent to you. That's when you can take it further. But not everybody does art at school, really ventures in art later on. But I did, I did art in school. In fact, I took it on HSC, because I remember I did Hague Art. Uh, but then I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't really base on it so much, because I, was, uh, I, I, I focused so much on DJing. I remember when I went to, to the university, I did, uh, I did business computing, then I did CPISM. Later on, dropped it, started DJing, and I've been DJing all the time and doing art on the low. But ever since when the lockdown came in, I tried to, since we're not really working, and until now we're not working, I tried to focus on the art. Though sales in the arts and crafts does not come in handy, he makes a cut for motels and hospitality businesses coupled with online services. Most people who buy these art pieces, the people who do interior art and design, like those hospitality places, people design hospitality places like hotels, lodges, uh, how can I say, even some offices, they really take them on. Um, these people are building very nice houses with very nice sitting rooms and you'll find an abstract art piece like this one. We do take the pictures of the art pieces and we put them online. So most of the times you can, in fact, we get, we get, we get, we get, uh, we get clients from online. Some can look at your art piece, the inbox, they like, I really want it, how much are you selling it? That's how we manage to, to market the art pieces, or that there's nothing, there's no way. This is how it stands apart. The way they do the art piece, everybody has their own touch. The way they do, whereby you can identify your like. This art piece was done by Hat Max. This art piece was by, by, done by such, such an artist. When I'm painting, I don't really paint it flat. I normally get an area where I concentrate and I make it, make it, how can I say, make it off the art piece, whereby you can touch and feel it. Just like all assholes, after the rain, comes sunshine. Uh, I've achieved I've, I've achieved so much in art like uh, I've sold off some pieces to some uh, hospitality places like I told you mostly since I do decorative art they are normally hotels, lodges and this art and those people build really nice homes they get them so I've tried to make someone out of it I've got someone and I've, I've, I've managed to cater for my basic needs uh, uh, I've managed to, to, to also buy DJ equipment, I've managed to, to do a lot. General, I've really done a lot out of it, I've achieved a lot. Besides the small profit margins, there are still some hurdles. Now the challenges, the challenges in art are, uh, when, when, when you do works like these ones, there's no guarantee that they're going to buy them immediately. 
I think, you know, it's like an investment. It's a long-term investment. Because you can do an art piece that can spend over like six months and nobody has bought it. And the other challenge is that the government has really added tax on very many things. So even now, the paint that we really use, it's very, very expensive. The sky will be the limit for Nelson. You know, some of these things that are really talent, they're always lifetime. It's not something that you're going to say that I'm going to do it until this age or that I'll do it until this time. So I plan, I plan if, if all goes well, I, plan, I, I really love to sell art pieces worldwide and, uh, and really have a very big showroom or gallery. And I would, I would love to be famous in art as well. Though I'm famous in DJ, but I'd love to be more famous also in art. Because with art, art, art never dies, it, it keeps on growing. The more it stays, it keeps on growing. Because you can look at like pieces for the Da Vinci's, you can see that Mona Lisa, uh, Mona Lisa art piece. It's been sold millions and millions of shillings. It was made very, very, very long time ago. Very long time ago. So uh, I also dream of like having an art piece whereby it's identified and it's there for a lifetime. Mm -hmm.